If you have not become a patron of the Geocache Talk Network, what are you waiting for? Patron levels start as low as a bison tube level at $3 a month. The sign up is easy. Simply go to the Geocache Talk website and click on the Become a Patron button or go to patreon.com forward slash geocache talk. Patrons now get the famous blackout coin, invites to special events, and other really great items throughout the year. Become a patron today. Have you subscribed to FTF Magazine yet? FTF Magazine is the number one geocaching magazine available. It is a quarterly magazine that you can be part of. Submit your geocaching milestones and adventures to be published. FTF Magazine is also interactive with puzzles to solve and the hunt to find Spartacus. If you can solve the puzzle or find Spartacus, then you will be entered in to win a special path tag. Every new subscription, you will receive a special swag pack. Subscribing is easy. Just visit FTF's website, ftfgeo.com. Don't miss out and subscribe today. Welcome to Deep Dive, where we dive deep into geocaching topics. Each episode features in-depth discussions and aims to provide a deeper understanding and appreciation of geocaching and to inspire listeners to explore new aspects of our great sport. And with me tonight is, of course, the Memphis Mafia. Well, one, me, one member. One part of it, right? One part. So, how are you doing? Good, very good. Yeah, it, it's good. weird when you say one part of it because that's like a whole different show that I don't think we've even talked about on this one. But it makes me think of when we do cashing versus single versus teams. We haven't yeah, really yeah. done that lately. I, that's I like true. hitting that every once in a while because people's opinions change on that. But I'm doing great. Still not cashing as much as I want. I'm still making sure I find some. But I'm kind of in that phase we've all been in before where. I'm in a new area, so I really want to hide some caches now. Mm -hmm. I'm scouting those locations, and I got a bunch of ideas. Yep. And I'm like a little bit over two weeks away from summertime. And since I'm teaching now, I'm yep. going to have more time during the summer to really get creative with some containers um, and some locations. And I've, I've scouted a few businesses in the area where I'm really wanting – I'm not going to say anything about it yet because – Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Obviously. But – I want to approach them coming up when I have a, a prototype ready, like Chad does, like he's kind of taught us how to do. And yep. like, here's the kind of, here's what I'm wanting to put on your property. Here's what it can do for you. Here's what I can do for it. You know, this right. is what your responsibility would be, which is basically nothing and all right. that and have a really good mocked up cool container form, not like a pill bottle, but like, like we're talking about tonight, a real yep. favorite worthy cash. I want one, you know, not mm -hmm. because I, We'll get into that why later, but because I want to have a few caches that are really special to me. So that's what I'm working on instead of, you know, having Absolutely. a bunch. I'm, I'm trying to work on a few now. So that's kind of the phase I'm in right now. And which seems like a dull phase outside because you're not getting the numbers, but it's fun once it kind of goes through. So no, that's absolutely. kind of where I am with caching right now. No, that's perfect. Um, yeah. Speaking of that kind of, um, we have a new coffee shop in town and I know the owners and I actually talked to them about, and they're very, they're familiar with geocaching and everything. So here's the thing though. I've got an adventure lab that I could either use or I could keep it for our mega or mm -hmm. something, or maybe I could work with them on some sort of, you know, multi-cache yeah. in their area. So I don't know. I got to try to weigh between, I talked to them about both and they're like, we love both ideas, but like, do I put an adventure lab there or do I put a so, regular geocache there? It's one of those. I guess kinda... it depends on really what we're talking about tonight, right? Are you searching for favorite points? Yeah, no. Or do you want something that's, because I don't want to jump ahead. So it's going to be hard to answer this question, but yeah. Adventure labs really don't fit into this favorite point discussion. Unless right. there's a bonus to go with it. So it's really a different style of cash ownership, right? It is. Um, so maybe we'll launch into that later tonight, but that's a good question on which one you end up with. I'll be curious to hear about that. Oh, yeah, cool. Room of cats. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely. He might be able to help. Uh, we can try to figure something out. Yeah. Um, he might be able to help me make something cool that because we have a bonus cash at the end of it so well you're right if we did an adventure lab for sure i was thinking more i mean if the room cat's willing to help i might be able to make some sort of 
crazy thing in the front that looks like it's part of the building or something, you know, and make it hard to hard to find because so yeah. This is interesting. Uh, the gravity cube. Oh yeah, that gravity cube. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's one hundred percent favor points. They put it on their front porch, which oh, that's as awesome. As said before, if it's even close to well done and it's on somebody's front porch, it's yes, getting a favor I give point. It a, me. Yeah, I get a favor point. I mean, yep. the effort they put into the game and you know, like their personal intrusion into their into their, <laughs> their life, they deserve a favor point for that, in my they opinion. Deserve, but yeah, we'll get into that later. We're, we're jumping ahead, so all right, let me uh, let me get your. Uh, Get your feedback on something here, or let me go to the news and then get your feedback. So okay. let's do some, let's do some news. Gary pushes button. So a couple things to point out is uh, geocaching.com has switched to, what do you know? A uh, topic about caches with favorite points. What a shock that we would be talking about favorite points. Uh, so that's we the next. Have the same writers. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, because they stole that again from us. No, I'm yeah. kidding. I don't think they're stealing from us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, we're always stealing from them. So we are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So there's never. I did. We talked about this, but I did talk to uh, to Brian when I was at HQ, and I said. You know, we do a wheel of challenges. Y'all, you know that, right? This looks just like the wheel of challenges. He goes, <laughs> I swear, I talked to marketing. They did not. But yeah. again, if they might have seen it and then it was right. in their head kind of thing. So who knows? But well, again, I mean, I, I'm sure we have done the same thing with, <laughs> well, technically all of our material comes from their material, right? Exactly. Yeah. We're only doing it because yeah. they allow us to do it. So we're really in that, in that fact, but. Yeah. And we've talked before. It's like, what if they did steal it from us? What, what, who cares? They can. It's theirs. <laughs> it's theirs. Yeah. They so, can slap a trademark on everything and we could never have a podcast. So I'm glad well, we're still able to do one. But but do you think about it? What are they going to do? Well, I mean, well, what are we going to do? What, take, them, take them to court? I mean, <laughs> well, you know. You used not... your material when we were trying to use your material. Yeah, it just doesn't fit. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get an attorney to take that one, bud. No, no. Um, no, but it's good. You know what? That's good. That means we're thinking alike, which is good. Exactly. I like that. Yeah. Um. So again, favorite points. It's a little tricky this time. Did you have you kind of looked it over? It's it's a lot of it's a is it a thousand? Let me pull it. Yeah, up. you're talking about the new souvenir promotion. Yeah. Yeah, I've looked it over, and um, souvenirs is a whole different topic, right? And sometimes I rush it out is. and do them. But right now, it doesn't really fit what I'm 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 working on my own caches now, so I'm not finding a lot of caches right now. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, if I happen, I'll try to get the bottom level right, obviously. Um, yeah. But um, if I'm able to, which actually I'll do okay on this one because, like, I think we talked about it last week or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you're about to leave for yeah, I'm about to leave on a trip, and I'm getting hopefully six year two thousand caches. That should yeah. handle all the favor points for that whole promotion for me. Yeah, really, I should be good to go. Yeah, um, I don't always no. rush out to solve or to, to satisfy the souvenir promotions. Yeah, it just depends on how my caching style is currently. You know, usually it's if it's around a mega or if it's around some big trip, it just takes care of it anyway. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I'm going. But I like that they're doing it. I, I, and yeah. I know we don't want to get on a whole aside with it, but I no. really like that they're doing more with these souvenirs. And there's always going to be people that don't like them. And there's always going to be people that love them, but. I think they're kind of moving into some different areas. They can only do so much. Um, I hope they really get creative with what they do. Like push it far enough that you get a little feedback. Like this was too much or yeah, this is silly. Okay. We won't do that. You know, you right. can't always make everybody, you, you know, never can You're you make never going to make everybody happy. happy. Never. Yeah. Um, never. And you can't satisfy like, you know, a, a Hulu UC and a new cashier yeah. at the same time with the same promotion. It's impossible. No, so no. I just think Although, we kind of like yeah. if I like him, I'll do it. That's kind of my thing. Yeah, Holy Yossi, pretty he pretty easy going dude. Pretty pretty easy going. I, I'm not talking. About, I'm just talking about how prolific he is in cash. And there's not no, going to be I a know. challenge for him. If yeah. you put it as a challenge for him, ninety percent of the earth is not going to be able to do it. Right? Yeah. No. There's not that many people that cash like that guy does. So oh, no. Uh, I've got some more to ask you about in the news. Before I go any further, though, I want to give it. Uh, we're doing hashtag favorite tonight for their giveaway. 
Uh, in fact, I'm going to pull up the giveaway tool. So it is pulled up. And we've got currently, how many people we got? Hashtag favorites. Favorites. Oh, we got 18 already. That's great. Keep it going. Keep uh, keep on trucking with that. Um, so there you go. Hashtag favorite. Um, and I, well, I'll take a moment. Uh, I'll, let me do it. Let me do it at the end because it doesn't make because I've done this before where I show you the prizes. We get to the end and, and I we we have a winner. And invariably the winner goes, Can you tell me what the prizes are again that I could win? Yeah, you know, somebody so, that had it's not in here. Yeah. So I'd wait yeah, so, so we'll do it right. At, I'll show you the prizes, then we'll do the giveaway. It makes just makes more sense. I think that'll work better. Um, so yeah, there's um there's several things going on. And so again, we, we're not gonna get into the night. We got so much to talk about, but uh, and like you're talking about, we got Maker Madness, the yep. Make Magic yep. events, not Maker Madness. I like those. Magic, yep. Um, we have an event um, that's coming out um, for Cash Fest. It has it's it um, it's in the wings. It hasn't um, published, but it's been submitted. But we're gonna do um, a Maker event on that friday night prior to the um to the event <gasps> oh no gary just spilled the beans yeah it's great if people are going to pick up that souvenir not published yeah it's yeah no that's that's cool souvenirs um is really for a whole that's for that's for another yeah, show. yeah we're not going to get into that yeah that's for another show but if you're Doug McRae, you're like the top souvenir gatherer. Aren't you yeah. kind of when you're like that? Aren't you committed? Like you got to do everything now to keep your souvenir title. I mean, yeah, and that's you know as we I talked know. about before, you don't have there's to. somebody every stat that's on Project GC, somebody is number one in it. Yeah, and somebody is very proud of the fact that they're number one in it. I guarantee you, they're working to keep it. Yeah, um, they did not extend the time frame, B and J bitch. Thanks for mentioning that. Yeah. So um we discussed trying to nudge them, but we haven't done that. So yeah. uh, they, we might they may extend it, you never know. Yeah, we might we might get them extended. Um so anyway, um it is <sighs> okay, and then we don't have time to get into gift tonight. But GIF is we'll 10 years. That yeah, that's um, – I submitted one uh, years ago um, that I thought was incredible, and I got completely – it was was knocked out. And so I'll be honest. I was a little jaded. I mean, I, I don't really – I'm I'm a pretty humble guy. I don't think – I don't really – I don't think I over – I don't over – how to put it? Cause I'm not a very good podcaster. Uh, I don't think too much. I don't think I think too much of myself, but because this was a, a music video, there's never been a music video. And I thought, well, if it's halfway good, shouldn't it be in the, shouldn't there be music videos? And I know they've done something since then, back then before, before my, before mine came out, there had never been one. So anyway, it was good. It's, it's on the geocache talk networks list of videos if you want to go see it but i shouldn't be jaded about it it was they there must have been others that were better whatever yeah well you're but, always going to think yours is the best right because you oh, put yeah. your heart and soul into it so yeah it was it was fun and uh and all that but anyway so uh and then lastly we're gonna get into the show because we don't want to make this into geocache talk but i do want to mention that if you go to the Cash Fest website and you scroll down, you're down to eight days, 23 hours, 43 minutes, and 49 seconds, 48 seconds. You get the idea. And that is when sales end. So dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. If you want to, if you want in the 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 main coin, the the event coin is Pretty cool. I'll be honest. I, I had nothing to do with it. Uh, 
but the folks that did know their stuff. It's a Chris Mackey coin. Yeah. If so you know are, it's gonna be good. Yeah. I mean, if you're new to this kind of area, Chris Mackey is like, you know, Pierre Cardon or, you know, Louis Vuitton. I mean, he's like, whatever those mean. Uh, <laughs> you probably had to Google those. Come on now. I heard those. Yeah. Coach. Hermé. I know how to say it right. It's not Hermes. Hermé. So it's a Chris Mackey coin. If you own a Chris Mackey coin, it's like I have several, but they're, they're, they're always cool. So this yeah, one's excellent. cool. They're always excellent. Yeah. 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 So, all right. Enough on that. Let's dive in to what's the point. And uh, I did put, it's in the show notes. We're not really going to go over it, but I did, uh, check with our bot, checked in with them, and they're doing great. They're doing as much geocaching as they can. Um, but Chat GC gave us a. I asked them about. I asked them about favor points. Should you give a geocache a favor point? And I'm going to throw these by you, and then we'll get. Then we'll keep going. So here are okay. the topics without getting into all the, yeah, the verbiage. But here are the the topics that they brought up of why you should give something a favorite point. So okay. I'm going to get your opinion. First one was overall enjoyment. Oh, obviously that makes sense. Yeah. Quality and creativity. I'd agree with that too. I think is really good. Um, I think, and we'll get into the specifics, but I think you and I have both said that's a cool cash. Not, I mean, let me rephrase it. That that cache is so well made and so creative. I'm giving it a favorite point. Right. Yeah. There's, there's many, many reasons to give one a favorite point. Right. These are the ones that it came up with location yeah. and scenery. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. If you're on the side of, of a hill in Ireland and you're looking out over the North sea uh, or the Atlantic ocean, I'm not sure at that point what you're looking at. Uh, but you get the idea. Mm -hmm. It's scenery. It's a look. It's a cool location. You give it a fair point. Yeah. Next one's kind of interesting. It's called maintenance and accessibility. Let me exp let me give you the the verbiage on that one. Okay. okay. Consider the condition of the cache and its accept accessibility. If the cache was well maintained, regularly checked by the owner, and accessible to a wide range of geocachers, it indicates a commitment to the geocaching community and warrants appreciation. That one's more loaded. I, let me split that into two. Okay. Let me go on backwards. Accessibility. So yes. let's say, because we've had this, we're not going to get into it, obviously, because we'll, we'll go down the rabbit hole and we run out of time so quickly. <laughs> if you're talking about accessibility and you have somebody that properly labels and makes an interesting cache that is a terrain one hide, so it's right. accessible to a lot of people that, normally do not have access to those um like a creative you know a good cash but they yeah. find a way to make it where it's accessible to everybody yeah i could see that getting a favorite point right because yeah. it's easy to bump it up people a lot of times want to bump up the dt rating and stuff like that to make their special or whatever yeah. and a lot of times like one one cat or one terrain caches get that one difficulty instead of going yeah. up to make it more creative so when i come across the cash especially when they mention it like this cache is accessible to everyone, but it's still like more creative. It's not just a, a bottom level cache. Right. That can get a favorite point for me. Now. Yeah. Now, having said that part, I think the other yeah. part is total crap. So we want to get a favorite point because somebody did what they were supposed to do and maintain the right. cache. <laughs> maintain. That's a pretty it's low made, bar. It's that well maintained. Like bar of caching. Um, yeah. No, because it's not a wet, soggy log and you didn't quit the game. You're not getting a favorite point for that. Yeah. Um, Adi, Adi jumps in maintenance should be a given. Yes. However, that kind of flows into now, if somebody has been maintaining the cash since the year 2001 and they've done it, gone to great lengths to do that. Okay. Maybe, but that falls more into the historic than it does just the maintenance part. It um, does. And that's what yeah. me and Jay Bish so, yeah, said. I would agree like with that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. It's very old and impeccably yes. maintained. Um, but, but yeah. Something special is really what it means to me, but yeah. Yeah. No, you're okay. exactly right. And then the last one is, uh, oh, that's it. Then he goes into ultimately awarding a favorite point as a personal choice. 
It's a way to acknowledge, et cetera, if a geocache left a positive impression on you and you believe it deserves recognition, awarding a favorite point can be a great way to show your appreciation. So, um, well, let's let's go from that route because I've got some, I've got mm-hmm. some, um, um, George Costanza's dad's. Uh, I got I got a lot of problems with you people. Yeah, you know when he said that, you know, on his on Seinfeld, like, oh, I got problems with you people. You're gonna hear about it. So yeah. we did a show on that one time. But anyway, so we'll stay on the positive side. So yeah, maybe we'll see. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, what are some? Uh, what are some absolute given? Uh, and then we'll get into you, you. You have some really good points here about about whether they matter or not. But we'll get into yeah. that too in a little bit. But let's start with just: Are there certain types of caches that are to you automatic favorite points? They just you, you don't think. Um, I will say. Well, there's not trying to be generic with it, but there's some yeah. that are like almost all. I I can't say automatic, right? But because you can mess up any type of cash. But sure. um, there are some that are extremely likely to be a favorite point for me. Um, obviously, a well done gadget cash. Yes. I mean, you go to one of those and you don't favorite. I don't understand. Um, yeah. A front porch cache, if it's done well and I don't feel creepy doing it, which we've been to the creepy ones where you're like, oh, yeah, is this in the right place? There's no address. Um, yeah. A front porch cache or one that's in a little library that somebody's doing in front of their house and they make it good. Yeah. Those are almost always going to be favorite points. Now, yeah. having said that, like Chat GC said, if it takes me to an awesome location, like I'm at the top of a mountain, I can't imagine not giving that on favorite point unless they really crapped on something else. Right. Yeah. I guess the it's a Kleenex box with like a pad, you know, no. Um, yeah. But that sometimes, and I'd say a lot of times, not always, but a lot of times, like one of the main sections, like location, experience, you know, container. Um, yeah. One of those that's really amazing can outshadow average in the other two. So if I'm okay. at the top of a mountain, yeah. but the website wasn't that great and the container's only so-so, I'm still probably giving that a favorite point because I'm at the top of a mountain. You know what I mean? Right. Or right. if it's not a great location, like not terrible location, but they had an amazing puzzle or amazing challenge to go with it or whatever. Um, still probably would give me, you know, if they just knock it out of the park on one of our main categories, almost likely it's going to be. And I know we'll get into it later, but I'm, I'm real big and Christy gets on me a lot too. Every cash we go to, we talk about it. Does this deserve a favorite point? Cause we cash as a team. Yeah. Does this deserve a favorite point? Yeah. Um, we have many <laughs> things and they been, don't always agree. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we don't agree. Um, but uh, now if we don't agree, we generally opt for giving it a favorite point. If one of us at least thinks it needs one, we give it one. Um, but I've seen tons of things where there's there's very many other reasons, but in those, um, like they said, virtual earth cash, where I go, favorite, no question. Oh, yeah, I was about, I was about to talk about yeah. the happy hodag said, um, Ho dog so, said, uh, I don't give every virtual a favorite point because not every yeah. virtual is great. Any good Everywhere virtual, I go? I give a favorite point too. Um, happy, happy ho dog says, uh, every where I go, really. So, here's what I say about where I go <laughs> out of any type for me, those are most likely to get a favorite point if they're not terrible. Just because to try to encourage them, you have to put yeah. in so much extra work to do a where I go. Yeah. Uh, for most, for the general geocaching public, I would say where I go is probably the hardest type to do by yourself with earth cash being a close second. So let me ask you about, um, so I'm, I'm rewarding effort in that situation. Yeah. So here's a situation I was in, right. uh, I was in, where was I? I was in Blaine, Washington, which is a gorgeous town. It's right on the sea right there. So it's a sea town. And I found yeah. some caches that were right on the ocean. I mean, they're right there. But I found a string of them. And some of them were just a fake rock in a little container. So I think thing. you've answered part of the question you're about to ask already, but go ahead. <laughs> in that case, though, if I'd only if I was only there long enough to find one, maybe I'd have given it a favor because the view is incredible. I mean right. 
the waves, the ocean, the mountains, it's it's all there. But so let me ask it this way. Was the view from thought, each one incredible? Yeah. I think there you go. You give 12 favorite points? Yeah, I would. I chose not to. <laughs> well, but I you chose them as a big string, right? And some people do that. You gave just one of them and said thanks for the whole series. I did. Uh, they weren't all the same owner. Oh, okay. But uh, the ones that I felt like were were well done as far as the cash was well done, I appreciate all of them. Let's get mm-hmm. let me get that out of the way. Um, I'm still amazed at Lampo skirts and just finding a geocache to me is is to me is you know worthy, but not a worthy of a favorite point. But I I love them all. I love them all. I know you love them all too. But I kind of almost put them all in one one grouping. And I picked mm-hmm. out the ones that I thought were the most well done of that little grouping. Right. You know what I'm saying it's almost like they were competing. That little area was competing yeah. against its it competing against others in that area. So which happens in the other way, right? We're talking, we've talked about yeah. waterfall points before, you yeah. know, kind of trickle down points. So this is the reverse of that effect. They yeah. kind of are negatively affected by the good ones near them, as opposed to the obvious ones where, you know, a good one gets, a million favorite points and the ones near it just happen to get it. Yes. Yeah, so the that's effect of that. So into that one. Yeah. One of them gets it, but the other ones don't because they're like, well, I've already ordered a favorite point for that one. This may be a totally different owner. And they're like, yeah, you know, I went out yeah. there in the middle of this everywhere. So I guess there's that trickle down and, you know, kind of rolls uphill effect as well. Right. Yeah. So, and we'll definitely get into, we'll get into in a little bit about how many yeah. we, we suggest everybody pull it up in case you don't know, pull up your own, list to find out how many you've given and how many you have left because we're going to talk about that in a little bit so you mentioned something that i won't i won't say who but this particular item got really under somebody's skin um and so near mingo well, so why obviously a generic example okay well so there, that's there's one. Kind there's of a reason. other ones that are like this. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. So, um, so I guess I'll stay on the positive side. So the one that, so Mingo, I gave a credit. It's the oldest yeah, geocache yeah. in the world. You're going to give it There you go. Um, Adi has one nearby. That's a lot of fun. It's a gadget cache. Automatic favorite point for me. Cause it's yeah, just it's a great cash all by itself. Has nothing to do with Mingo. It has nothing to do with Mingo. But it is close to Mingo. But to me, that's just a coincidence. But there's a couple other caches mm-hmm. nearby mm-hmm. that are not, they're not anything. <laughs> I mean, they're I nothing appreciate, unique other than I, the fact yes. that they're near Mingo. And they got hundreds of hundreds of favorite points. I think maybe one of them has a thousand or more favorite points. And the particular person I was with at the time, it really bothered them that these caches were basically basking in the glow of Mingo. And they were just, Oh, they're just gathering up favorite points from other people who were like, yeah, this, this, this cache does not deserve a favorite point, but it's getting favorite points like, like crazy. Now, is that just because a lot of people came there? I, I, I'd have to go look and see if it has a, I'll look it up. I'm not the. I won't tell you what it is, but I'm gonna at least look at the percentage. Yeah. But it, is it just an afterglow? What's going on there? It's afterglow, it, without a doubt. Okay. I know which ones we're talking about, obviously, because we've been there. Yeah. Um, you see that a lot around an amazing cache. And here's where I, here's where I'm gonna defend that, right? So I, I know okay. who's mad about that, and I understand that's 100 percent valid. When a cache that doesn't deserve favorite points gets favorite points, you're like, well, what's the deal with that? Um. Here's what I'm going to say, and here's how I've used my favorite points. And as we go on, and time's ticking away quickly, but as we go on, you'll see the theme for me is those are my favorite points. I'll use them however I want to use them. No matter oh, what condition yeah, absolutely. Is, I will absolutely use those. So don't tell me where I can do them. Don't tell me who what I can't do or can do with them. I'm going to do whatever I want to do with them. Because, in fact, I have awarded favorite points to subpar caches before. Yeah because of the experience that I had around it. Like I went out with a group and we had a blast and it may have launched into something else. And I had such fun around that day 
It really wasn't the cash, but that's the reason for us getting out there that I've awarded mm-hmm. a favorite point to a cash before. And the yeah. next person coming along is going to go, I don't understand this. Why does it got a favorite point? You know, or why does it have seven yeah. favorite points? And this is like nothing. To me, favorite point, the, the part that we didn't talk about, which kind of is an offshoot of Chad GC's first one, is the overall experience. That mm-hmm. overall experience may be independent of the cash in some way, but it may be just like we had an awesome day cashing. I cashed with my grandmother or something, right? And yeah. this is the only cash oh, we went together, and I'm going to favorite that cash. I no, don't absolutely. care that it's a pill bottle because that's all she could do. You know, we could get to there. So there yeah, is that unknown a- anomaly, right, of yeah, my cashing experience. Yep. This one has 434 favorite points. Uh, it is, what percentage is that? The point 15%. being, it's an average cash that in most places would not have 434 favorite points. No, I mean, it's a, um, it's hidden in a telephone pole. If you recall that one, it's the, you, you move something out of the way and it's there. Um, it's been there since 2014. Here's a good part of that I mean, question too. Does Mingo even deserve the favorite point? So not that one, but the one nearby Mingo, it's just an old cash. Yeah. So here's what I would say with that one. And cause we've talked mm-hmm. about this before. If Mingo wasn't Mingo. Yes. That sounds like a nursery rhyme, but if Mingo yeah. wasn't Mingo, would it be special? Maybe, maybe not, right? Now, it happens to be different because of it's grandfathered in and you can bury caches and, you, you know, all that stuff. Um, yep. Does the fact that it's the oldest cache in the world still active get it a favorite point because of the experience of going there? For me, it does. Right. I absolutely favor Domingo because that was cool for me to go to the oldest active cache in the world. Um, if that cache was a micro, I still would think it's neat because it's yep. a historical place. If it wasn't the oldest cash in the world, would Mingo have gotten a favorite point? I don't know. It might not, right? Yeah. There's no history attached to it. Um, because it's by today's no, standards, sure. it's really not that special. The cash right. itself. The fact that it's an old one that has lasted this long, I think that's why it's special. Right. So that's another no, you... kind of unknown quantity, right? A historic part. Yeah. Um I think. I don't know. I feel like, well, one, some of the uh, year 2000 caches are not even maintained by the person who put them out. That's true. So when you give it, when you give something a favorite point, are you really rewarding? You're kind of rewarding the caretaker of it now. Well, so here's the offshoot. Yeah. Are you rewarding the caretaker or are you telling other people that's a good cash to go check in the area? That's that's very true because you and I think do the exact same thing, which is if we're going either we're going somewhere or if it's spur of the moment, like uh, we weren't going to cash, but hey, we have to go pick somebody up at the airport. Oh, I never thought about it. What's the what caches are near here? And not just that, really, but more are there any highly favorited caches nearby? Right. Because in general, you think if it's got a bunch, if it has like one or two, it could be anything. If yeah. it has a hundred plus, there's got to be some reason why people are yes. giving that a you know, hundred favorite points. Because that, that raises the average that it's not just some random, yes. you know, like piece of said a milestone I mean, for think. somebody or, yeah. you know, the time you went out with your grandma or just a fun day. When you have a hundred or more people doing that, like favorite points, there's probably a reason why that cash was favorited. You may not agree with it, but there's right. probably a reason. I think, and this is something that our group, our Motley Cashing crew, and we're going out in June for, um, we're actually going to go do um, Infernal Device, which has been, it's version 2.0. Yeah. It's up near Oklahoma City, and it's like an escape room horror uh, escape room, yeah, very um, yeah, haunted house combo, and it's been redone, and we're very excited. We talked to the owner, and we we actually kind of set up a time we're going to be there, so he knows. Not that you have to do that, but he prefers if you let them know that you're coming to right. to do this because it's on his new property, and 
anyway, it's incredible. Already has a ton of favorite points. But for that trip, what am I going to do or what I'm already doing? I'm looking up caches and seeing where the where the highly favored ones are. Yeah. I think part of it is that for me, it's a collective. So we've all had, I think most people have all had, if they're avid geocachers, have had somebody tell them, oh, this cache is the this cache is the most awesome cache you've ever seen in your life. You've got oh, to yeah. go do this cache. It's incredible. It's the greatest thing since sliced bread cache. Right. And you get there and you're like, eh, it was good. But yeah. was it was it the greatest? Um, but if 25 people say that, okay, now you're starting to go, all right, I gotta check it out. Yeah. You got my attention. You really so, kind of have my attention. So. so which one is more important then? I, I don't know what to say which one is. Yeah, I'm going to say which one's more important because it's hard to answer. Is it more important for that favorite point to be a reward for the owner? Or is it more important for that re- favorite point to be um, a draw people to this cash? Like, in a, like a, a marking of an awesome uh, cash for others. Right. I, I put them on there. I think definitely for combo definitely sometimes for personal reasons for example uh brad's in our uh in our chat room tonight i uh found his cash i sent you pictures of it um for me that particular cache of brad's that tardis that he did which is amazing um it's not just you know open up and sign a log you have to figure out how to get it open so it's sort of a gadget cache but yeah. it's the size of a size of a TARDIS. Of course, inside it's it's enormous. Ha ha. But yeah. it's my most northern cache that I've ever found. Oh wow. So for me, I'm gonna give it a favorite point because for many reasons, I would give it multiple favorite points if I could. Yeah, absolutely. Because A, it's the most northern cache for now. I'm gonna so it's important point. to you. It was important to me, but also it's important. It was also important that I sort of lit the beacon, yeah, and and said, "Hey, everybody, y- y'all need to come do this cash." I mean, that's sort of like a. Yeah. So, which one is more important for you on that cash to show other people it's awesome, or to let the owner know you appreciated it? Man, that's hard. I, I guess it does both. But which one is higher priority in your mind? Wow. That's tough because I really want people to go see it. Now, a lot of people did. Uh, it's got a lot of it's had a lot of visits because of the timing. He, I think he put it out before Geo Woodstock last year. I guess I'm going to say that uh, it was to give him appreciation for what he did. It's right. so well done. And as I mentioned before, you I got there. It's a little bit rainy, and I I got it. I got inside, and I'm sort of standing there going, "I got a lock in front of me, and I have a phone, but the mm-hmm. phone looks like a red herring, and I've got this tube thing, but I can't really determine that it's. I mean, I don't know what it's for, and so I'm kind of like, I, the you know, the the game is afoot." Cause I got to figure this thing out. And sure enough, I didn't call or help, ask for any help or anything, but I finally figured out without telling everybody, but some item in there was the aha moment. And I was able to figure out what to do. And I got in. Yeah. And so it, it's kind of a combo. I hope, I mean, you know, it's in Abbotsford in case anybody's ever up that direction. Go check out uh, that particular one. That TARDIS is really cool. Um, but yeah, just, I mean, for you, if you were to find something, I mean, you found plenty of caches that, well, uh, let me give you an example that we, you and I can both discuss. I because you're we trying both... to find a squirrely way to not answer the question. <laughs> no, I said, I said my, I said it was before. For that it was... one, it was to reward the owner. It was to reward, yeah. But a close so, second is the other one. I got close you. second. So let okay. me let me let me give you a. a oh, uh, now you got to flip me, it. I get it. Okay. Let me throw you a poser, and it's one that we both done. Okay. Uh, we were at the Denton. You know what I'm talking about. We were at the Denton Mega, and we had our day scheduled. You and I had our day planned. 
mm-hmm. and somebody told us y'all need to go find this cache it's the it's really really cool um it's a little out of the way you get a little bit of a drive but you got to go do this thing it's a big red english box oh, yes. yeah it's a and it's not like a remake the dude had it flown from great britain mm-hmm. to his house they carefully collected all the glass they packed that well and they shipped the large, big red English box, the big metal giant, con, con, you know, behemoth, and it's at his house. And you have to listen to the phone. It gives you information. You have to go then find uh, where the cash is. What are your thoughts? Would you give that a favorite oh. point? Did you give a favorite point? Oh, of course I did. But to me... <laughs> I lean definitely towards rewarding the owner more than I do okay. uh, advertising for the cash. Um, okay. t- and that's, although they both, it, obviously it's both, right? Without a doubt. Yeah. And I always try to spread the word about awesome caches too. Yeah. And I also try to put stuff in the logs, which both thanks the owner and gives other people an idea generally that it's awesome. It's an awesome cache too, right? But I, I'm saying I first lean towards thanking the owner um, and that comes from, so I've hidden not a lot of caches like some people have, but yeah, I've hidden, uh, about f- over 430 caches, right. um, several of them were events. So they don't, they don't even come into the favorite point issue, but, uh, mm-hmm. to me, I know the effort it goes into to try to really, you know, pour your heart and soul into a cache. It's going to be fun for people and, and keep it going. So for me, I think it's more important for me to reward the owner than it is to advertise for other people. Because I just figure, in general, people are going to hear about awesome caches. They'll come across them. Maybe it'll just be something in the wild they come across. Nowadays, people do videos about them. If there's something that's that spectacular, there's a lot of stuff out there. Um, however, I do believe that is a good advertisement. And we both use them that way, right? Yeah. But to me, the number one, just slightly, but the number one is to reward, reward the owner because... I enjoy when I get favorite points. Um, yes. I don't know if I enjoy a favorite point more than a good log, but I do enjoy favorite points. There's a point of pride there that I, I, I'm like, yeah. cool. Somebody like my cash. I did something good there. Which leads me to my next question for you. The oh. other day, the other day, I got a notification that one of my caches had the favorite point removed from it. Oh, uh, Yeah. And I was uh, peeved, hurt, but then I looked. It's one of my archived caches, but it was mm-hmm. a, it's a it's a really good cache. You've been there. Um, it's the the sun the sundial, yeah. Where you you got to put it down the sun, and you got to, and then it, it the 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 gnomon falls the the shadow falls under color. Based on the color, you have to go find the cash at the bill. So yeah. And at the cash, there's surprise as to how you log it. So without saying any more. Right, right. So the person that removed it is mm-hmm. a good friend. So I decided to to bust him, bust his chops, and I said, The heck, why are you removing a favor point? And they he replied it in, in perfect fashion he's like sorry like you know yeah. long sorry with exclamation points i was like it's no big deal i don't care he's like he needed one um it was joshua yeah. Floor. i can say that um he was in germany Joshua is a favorite point taker i'm gonna make sure i pass that on which is fine because he gives out he's he and we'll get into the distribution thing yeah, but yeah, yeah. he just gives them out all over the place i mean he's right, just right He's flinging, he's flinging favorite points out the car like, like it's, over style. You know, yeah, yeah. He's just, you know, it's like, you know, you know, he's he's just, it's like he's throwing a, it's like throwing a parade. It's a ticker tape parade. He's just throwing favorite points. Got be the a beads fun, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. It'd be a funny uh, uh, graphic to have him driving down the driving down the road and him flinging stuff out. It's it's FPs flinging out of the car. He was in Germany. That'll be, his gift, that'll be his gift thing now. That'd be a great gift one, yeah. His gift video. He was um, in Germany and he wanted to give a cash. He wanted to give another cash, and then, but to his, it was a, it's, it's, it's archived. 
do you take back favorite points? And if you do, so, how dare you? Um, so, yes. And we've talked about this before. <laughs> but here's what I think that it all boils down to. If – and I think just in general, yeah. there's two camps, right? You're rewarding the owner. You're using it as a signal to other people. Yeah. Right? Um, I reward the owner. However, secondarily, I signal other people with it. Yes. So – I'm not going to, so if a cache is just archived, I'm not generally going to take it from the cache. Right. If a cache active or not, if it's archived and the owner is gone. Yeah. Then I don't mind taking it out. The owner's out of the game. Well, guess what? Now it's not there for the purpose that I want it for, which is to reward the owner. They quit. They moved away. So to me, that's a situation where I would take it back. Other and, than some other reason that I've changed it. We're talking about just randomly taking it back. Yeah. And that makes sense in my mind because I'm rewarding the owner and then secondarily using it to draw somebody to it, right? So he leases favorite points. Yeah. He leases um, them. Funny. So, um, so I don't mind you, when somebody does that. And you can't find, you can't find the, uh, the good puppy dog. Uh, you can't find that cash anymore. So I guess in a sense, the first part of that, which is I want to make it a beacon so that everybody can, you know, can everybody, that it could be, it could become an, a, a beacon for others to find it. They're not, it's, it's archived. So, you know. But so then in that case, you could take it back because it's no longer being used how it's supposed to. Right. I, it's I not didn't really a reward for the owner in that case, so they didn't keep it up. It's not a reward anymore. Yeah. Um, so I think now, do I think that people should be taking away favorite points from a bunch of caches, you know, willy nilly there back and forth? No, I don't. Um, right. and I generally wouldn't take one away from anybody's cache on purpose that uh is still in the game because I as long as they're in the game, I still want to reward them for the effort that I got out of that. So I'm not totally against it, but I don't generally do it. And I don't need to because I have played around with it to try to mess with stats before. Um, yeah. That's a whole different thing. Um, but uh, I have a lot to still give, so I don't have to do it for that other reason. You know, like, oh, crap, I'm out. Yes, which gets to another thing. Have you have you ever run out? Have no. you ever went, I'm going to go to fair point. It goes, I'm sorry, you have no favorite points to give. Other than... If it possibly happened, like, in my first few caches, like, right. the first 30 caches or something like that, maybe. But since then, I've never – and I don't think I will ever run out. Yeah, you're not going to run out. We'll get, yeah. We're about to get into that. So yeah. I could potentially run out, but I guess I have continued without thinking about it. I guess I've been putting them out everybody's – ra- everybody's rate – of getting geocaches is different. Um, right. I passed 3000 with HQ, uh, with the stash plaque, uh, which of course I give a fair point because it's the stash, but that's just the way I want to do it. You don't have to do it, but that's the way I did it. Right. Um, I have 17 left that I can give. I didn't even know that. I wouldn't look today. You want to explain your situation, my friend. Now I've got, and I've done 262 yeah. or whatever. But um, you that need you to explain awarded. yourself, s- sir. Sir, you need to explain yourself. Yeah. So looking it up, I have uh, I have given out 551 favorite points, which is great, um, and I have 489 left to give. However, if you what, look at it, well, wait, I, I wait, did wait, the math wait, real wait. quick. How many again? Uh, 489 left to give. Four hundred. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So, I'll let you talk. Go ahead. Now, <laughs> the reason for that is um, now I've also done a lot of power trails. So a lot of those are just gaining favorite points, but I'm not spending them out there while I'm out there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, of course. So that's why those numbers are higher too. But um, cause we do a big power trail once a year or whatever, not big, yeah. but we do a big power run once a year. Um, so if, if I'm awarding those properly, that means 5% of the caches that I've found, mm-hmm. um, are worthy of a favorite point. Right. In your, in your, based mind. on how many I've given out, based on how many I've found. Right. Yep. So 
if I think back and keep in mind that I've been to a ton of events and I can't give favorite points to any of those. So that really skews the numbers a little bit. It does. That's sad. Um, we can't give a favorite point. And to, lab but. caches still don't count. So all the, I've found almost a thousand lab caches. So that's a thousand that I could not give a favorite point to. Right. Right. So I earned them for this, but I couldn't give it for that. Um, so five percent. So Bruno here, by the way, is in your is it is in your kind yeah. of ballpark. He's given out two thousand. Yeah, but Bruno's they, found a lot more caches than me too, so he understands. But they have three hundred and forty nine left, which is yeah. You know, but so if I had to say right now, are more than five percent of the caches that I find outstanding? Ooh, no, they're not. Good so question. for me. 5% of the caches, and I know that number is not exactly right because it, I didn't take out for events and labs and all the other stuff, right? Yeah, but, yeah. Right. Um, in general, 4 to 5%. Are 5% or one out of every 20 caches, Yeah. are they what I would call a favorite point-worthy cache? No, not really. I really don't think they are. Having said that, I don't live in Gilby. I haven't been yeah. to the West Virginia Trail. You know, <laughs> That would right. skew my numbers totally, right? Because they might every single one of those might get one. And if right. I'm in one of those places, I'm probably giving out 100 favorite points in a day. And I've done that when I'm somewhere awesome. But yeah. other than it, if it reached one of my other categories, I don't just automatically give a favorite point out. So are 5% of the caches I found favorite point worthy? Apparently so, in my opinion, anyway, right? Because yeah. are a lot of them not? Yeah, they're not. So I don't just throw them out left and right. You know, there's many other reasons I've given favorite points, you know, little ones here and there, but I would say that's pretty accurate for the style of caching that I've had. Yeah. Now yours yeah. is a much higher percentage. So you yeah. must find a better percentage of caches than I do. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. That's almost for another show, but yeah. I'm so saying that more of your qual more of your caches are higher quality than the ones that I've found in our, in our respective opinions. But are, but are they? Well, yeah. Well, you know, there's no way to know, right? It's they're, worked out that way. They're good to you and mine yeah. were not as good for me. So yeah. That's true. Um, yeah. I, uh, so what was I going to say? I, want, I, I like question. this. Look at this. And we don't have time to touch it, but I should look at favorites given, see if I can remember them all. Um, for any of the new cashers that happen to be on tonight, there is a way to do that. You go in your profile stats, yeah. you go scroll all the way down. It'll say favorites list. It, it does it automatically for you. You don't have to make it. Creates a favorites list. Yeah. HU doesn't work. You can go back. And it's kind of cool to do that. If you've never done that, go back and look through some of those. And mm -hmm. on your favorites list, and you may look at them. If you know, I've awarded 551 favorite points. I can't yep. tell you everyone that I've done, but if I right. go back and look at it, I'm like, oh yeah, that was cool. So it's kind of yeah. cool going back to see the best of what you can, you know, what you consider the best of the best. So that's yep. a fun little when you have nothing else to do and you're playing on the computer and we're all geeking out about stats. Yep. That's a cool one to do. Go in that list and just click on some of them. See if you remembered ahead of time. You may not, and then you click on it, and you're like, oh, that was awesome. I remember that. That was a great experience. That'll get you enthused um, about cashing again. It does. You're right. I love that. I love that. Um, so are you affected at all by the number of favorite points it already has? And I don't mean that or, or lack of. So, for example, the, it works both ways. So, yeah. obviously, you find a cache that has 500 favorite points. Are you more or less likely to give it a favorite point? Or are you going to go based on your own? You, my is own. 100% my own. And you're not we, we actually go through it, like I said, or mentioned earlier, because Christy and I cash together mostly, yeah. you know, other than I'm on a trip. Right. We uh, we actually have a discussion like, is that worth a favorite point? Yeah. And, then, and no, inevitably, if we don't agree, we'll say, well, why do you think so? And we'll talk about it. Sometimes, usually, when one of us goes, I like it for this or that. The other one goes, oh, yeah, that was actually pretty cool. And they did put in more effort than, you know, my mark is the 5% mark, right? right. Then the, the previous 19 that we found, this is good. Yep. So um, we have a discussion. I don't care about how many favorite points are on it. Now, it doesn't affect how I do favorite points. However, it also prompts the discussion, why did this one have 100 favorite points? Or why yeah. does this one only have five favorite points? That's a common discussion that we have. We we talk about the favorite points when we go to a cache. Like, I would think this would have more, or I, I think I missed something because I don't understand yeah. why it's here, or that's probably not the original container, or blah, you know, blah blah blah, whatever. Yeah. So that that kind of leads me to this to, to a question. Let's say, 
let's say you find a cache um, and it's it's clearly above and beyond what you expected because there's like two favorite points and it's been out mm-hmm. for a while. Yeah. And you're like, you, so you're, you're sort of scratching your head going, this cache is, is clearly more, this, this cache is clearly yeah. better for this, this, and this reason, these reasons it should have more favorite points. And it's been found a few times already that it's like, why didn't somebody give a favorite point to this? Would that cause you to add a favorite point to sort of counteract the people who are idiots, we'll call them? And yeah. Just left- um, so, no, I still don't think that would affect me at all. I'm going to do it based on the merits of that cash. And because okay. I, That's you know, I really pay attention to every favorite point I give out. And to me, yeah. again, since I'm on the side of the reward for the owner, I think yes. it's important for the owner to be rewarded for the, the stuff that they do yeah. primarily. So, yes. I don't care if they have one or they have a thousand. Um, I'm going to do it based on my experience right there at the cash. Yeah. Um, because I know we're running out of time fast. So we can't talk about this. And we've talked about it many times. One of the things yeah. that infuriates me, and I believe mm-hmm. that everybody should have the use, you know, the points how you want to, because that's what yeah. I do. Right. But sometimes, like, I always use this one when I think about it, like the 10 man cash that was on front of FDF, you know, Geo Magazine or whatever. Yeah. Um, absolutely. FDF Geo Caching Magazine. Uh, right. You've seen the picture. Everybody's seen that picture. Super famous. Mm-hmm. And then some people went there and did not give it a favorite. And I'm, I'm, yeah. I just, I'm like, I wish I lived at your house because it must be the best caches in the world. Right. If one out of every ten is not, that's not more special than one out of every ten. I just, I don't get it. And now, like Rumacast mentioned, he mainly goes after gadget caches, so he's always running out. Right. The system is what it is, right? You're gonna have to find some it, caches that are normal, or you're not gonna be able to favorite everyone. But, right. I, when somebody doesn't favorite one like that, I'm totally shocked, but I also don't let it, you know, I'm like, eh, whatever. I make sure I give it a favorite if I liked it. And I may add something to log, like, you know, this cash is amazing, uh, you know, whatever to make, to draw other attention to it. Yeah. So not to, um, to hype up my book. Yeah. 501 geocaches to find before you die. U S state version. It's a thick book, by the way. Um, available on a- available on Amazon. Cheap plug. The thing about this that I found, and um, we don't have any time tonight to get into it, but there is an algorithm that I talk about because the book is controversial because I put that it's based on favorite points. Yeah, and there's um, and I explained why I use favorite points. Um, and all that it's, the algorithm, you can go look it up later. We're not going to get into tonight, Yeah, but it's worth looking at is lower bound of Wilson score confidence interval for a Bernoulli parameter. Yes. There's, that's an actual, that's a thing. <laughs> that's an actual thing. If I can put, let's see if I can find it. Where was it? Oh, it's on this page. So. I could do it with that. So there it is. Anyway, go look that up. Uh, I'll throw that little algorithm in the show notes. So if you want to go look it up later, but um, so as we start to get to the end though, this was something that I wanted to do based on again. And it's controversial because it's based on percentages. So if a cash was had a, a large percentage of, of, of uh, favorite points, then that's what kind of gave it the bump. And so, um, so um, yeah, and there's someone here. Audi has, uh, Audi was for way longer than we have tonight, but yeah, you're right. It, it does we affect. Won't. Yeah. 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 We can't get into that, but. But it does get into this this aspect of what you're talking about, which was you, you don't attempt to, you, it's, I guess you're seeing it as it's not your job to try to, like, you don't give a cash of a, a fair point going, you know what, it was okay, but it was better than what's been given so far. Therefore, I'm going to try to right the wrongs yeah. of the, 
No. You're not interested. <laughs> no. You figured again, that my number one and number two are switched. I think we have them switched. You're bringing, yeah. you use it a lot of times because you use the cash to find that way. You use it to bring other I people do. to the cash. Yeah. First. Not, not always. With a close second being the owner. And I do the owner with the, I mean, they're both person. part of every one of them. It's both of those things every time. But yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we can get into the stats and everything of it too. But I think the general mm-hmm. idea is how do you use, when you're given a favor point, you know, I would encourage everybody to like think through that. Don't just throw it willy nilly. Don't do it because it's yes. because there's cool cash nearby. It, because it becomes a permanent part of your data. You yes. know, as far as like you have a list of every favorite point that you want. If you're not doing it, you know, with fidelity, like I believe this deserves a favorite point, then you're kind of messing up that list for yourself. Yeah. That should be like your best of the best experiences that you've ever had should be on that one list that they generate automatically for you. Yeah. And I try to stay objective. Like you were talking about, you mentioned in the notes about a popularity contest. I, I I am skewed somewhat by who placed it. Um, It it does. And, but I try to be objective and I don't, it's not like I'm giving it an unfavor point, but yeah. um, For the most part, if a cash was created, well, Audi's a good. Audi was in our show notes tonight, yeah. or in the chat room. Audi's caches are incredible. He might have a couple that are just he did a long time ago, and they're not gadgets, and they're just yeah. a cool, you know, nothing really special. But hey, it's another cool, another great cache to find. But it's not. But there, there is some lore behind that, right? Because, like, if you're going to an Audi Olsen cash or, you know, a yeah. bounce bounce cash or anything like that, there's some you know those caches by the cash owner, so you're yeah. gonna have kind of different experience. You know, wow, you just found one of Audi's caches, right? That's it's one of his, or you know, whatever. You don't scrutinize it as much, probably because you know the owner puts out solid caches all the yeah. time. So that probably will skew your opinion a little bit. And we're about to wrap up, and I'm about to show the prizes, and we'll get that out. But my last one oh, was... We haven't done the clue either. Oh, we got, we got to do, we'll do the clue, too. We'll do the clue, yeah. and then I'll show the prizes. So my last right. question to you is, um, in my situation, I was with Bounce Bounce up in Washington one one of the days I was up there. Fortunately, I had a great vacation. <laughs> and I'm with him, yeah. and I'm, we're finding his caches. Now, fortunately, this didn't come up because all his caches up there are amazing. Right, but, right. Let's just say he goes, oh, there's an extra cash here in the in the uh, parking lot that is nearby my other one. So let's find that one. Uh, I've, I've logged in the cash. So but... would you be tempted to give him one because you're there with him? Yeah. Would you be tempted? Would Here's you be... what I would say. If the experience <laughs> of cashing with a cash owner was good enough for me to push it over, the, that could push it over the limit, right? Like if I okay. went somebody to their cash... And yeah. that made it a cool experience for me. That could be one. You know, if I go to a cash, like if, if I'm hanging out with you and you go, yeah. oh, I've got one hidden in the Walmart parking lot. And yeah. It's just like an LPC. It's not getting a favorite point. <laughs> we can be best friends, but it's not getting a favorite point unless it's worth it. Right. But you, yeah, but you and I are, are too close to friends. What if it's a, just an associate who. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'm judging on his marriage. I'm sorry. You know, just get over it. I don't want back people to go. to go and favor my cash that don't enjoy it just because we're friends. Right. Now, if they choose to, whatever. If you know, if you want yeah. to go out and favor point all your friends, go for it. That's your choice. Do I do that? No, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. And am uh, I saying it's wrong? I'm not saying it's wrong either because I think you can use your favor points literally however you want to. You yeah. can give one to every 10 caches and always be at zero for all I care. I mean, yeah, that's great. Exactly. <laughs> if you wanted to. Yeah. Uh, Lori brings up a good point, which is I she gave favor points on caches. Yeah, which is a newbie that she would never give it now. Which you makes better sense. believe it. Remember the first? Well, first LBC is pretty early for most people. But when you first yeah. found out, you can lift those things. You're like, yeah. holy crap, that's awesome! Oh my gosh! When you first find your first it. like fake bolt, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. when you first everybody found it first for one time, right? <laughs> You're like, oh my god, I can't believe that's a thing. Now you may yeah. have found 500 now since then. Yeah, so it's not special anymore. But you probably favored that first because you're like, that is the most unique container out there. <laughs> and I think I would leave it. I th- it depends on. Let's say it was our. Well, we're not getting the archives tonight. Let's say that it was still active. 
it was awesome for me at the time, so I'm I'm yeah, leaving. I yeah. leave it. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go back and redo that. Like, oh, I was dumb. This is just a no. No, because no. at the time it impressed me. Yeah. Yeah. Now, after all this, I'm going to have to go back into my favorites list tonight and look at some of those guys. <laughs> go I want to know what's all on my list now. I've yeah, got exactly. there in a while, so I'm going to have to go check it yeah. out. Keep, uh, and we didn't get into the the non-favorite point person. We, one of our Motley Cashing crew, they don't even, they're like, I go, did you get a fair point? You're like, I don't even look at fair points. I have no idea what, I mean, they know what they are, but like, I don't care. I don't look at fair points. Yeah, so, that's, that's kind of a letdown, but it's their right, right? They have a, they probably have thousands. I probably need to I yeah. need to ask them how many they have because they just don't put them out. And then one of our other members of the group, you talk about stingy. This cash better be Adi Olson times ten, and it's at Mingo, and it's uh, it's on the side of a hill that's looking overlooking the coast. And I don't yeah. know. It's like man, your standards just are out of out of whack man you right but that's their choice yeah so they they only find the golden cash every now and then but anyway all right let me yeah. uh go I'd ahead i'd say short version as you're pulling that stuff up and yeah almost not short version of it for me is one use them however you want to use them but yeah. i suggest using them as something valuable to you it doesn't matter why you award it use it as a, a valuable yeah. tool for you no matter how that works, whether that means giving them out to bring people there, giving them out to it's your favorite mm -hmm. experience, or Agreed. you're just building your list for some reason of caches. And that's what you're True. using that for the best experiences for you. Cause yeah. that's a valuable list that they have there. You can, that should be the best of the best you've ever done. There should be a list yeah. already automatically created for you if you're using them that way. So right. I would just say have some or do whatever. Right. But have some, uh, do it in a way that creates value for you, for yourself and how you award them. Right. Right. And I think that th the ones of us that are looking at your, looking at multiple people's favorite point on a cash, I think that'll, that'll organically work itself out. So mm -hmm. if a cash is a hundred favorite points, hopefully it's not because people felt peer pressure and they all just dove in together over a period of time, but organically, everybody sort of agreed this cash uh, for me was worth a fair point. Therefore collectively there was a hundred of us that all agreed that it was meant something to us. Yeah. Therefore the collective of it generated a hundred and I come along and I go, Oh, I'm going to go find that cash because it's on my list because yeah. it's got a hundred. I think that's a natural part of it. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's do a clue tonight. Let me uh, let me do the bump here, the vault. Now, of late, they haven't been anything that I was aware of as far as, and so we really don't have any other information to give folks other than we're going to show you a picture and it'll be on the Facebook page. If you want to go out uh, on Facebook, go to the group called uh, cash fest Memphis vault. And you can also find it there a little bit later tonight. It'll be out there. So here we go. It's key 28 is what I'm understanding. So here you go. Key 28. So there it is. Not sure what all you can gather from that other than Key 28 is now in play. I mean, you could do a screenshot. Somebody could back you could up have. screenshot pretty easy, right? Probably better to go to Facebook and get the screenshot. That moment, this one might have been a little hinky. I don't know. It could have been. I'm not sure. And a picture of a picture doesn't always give you all the information. No, this is true. You may need to go check it out. So, hmm. All right. So quickly tonight, um, items uh, that I have. I did dig up a copper version of the bison, cool. which I thought we were out of, but actually we have some. I've still got the silver. They're awesome coins, and they're from Shelby Farms. Well, 
in conjunction with Shelby Farms. So I got those. I have a set of the night and day. They're not glued together. Mine are just because I wanted to do that. But you get two coins, so it's not one coin. It's two coins. You get the set. So when you win, um, you actually can get two coins instead of just one. I do have... um, I have still a few guitars. We're starting to resell them a little bit. So this is cool. So um, they are available. If you go to the Geocaching Academy Builds uh, website, you can, you can find them there if you want to purchase them. If you win tonight, you can get the red. I've got all, all I really have left now are the red, the black, and the blue. I don't have any more oil dipped. The oil dipped mm-hmm. are all gone. And the books. I have some books available I have the five and one book. If you would like that, I know it's a, it's a good doorstop if you're um, just wanting it to be that, but I think it's a, it's kind of a fun book. I did Oh yeah. the coin. I have a couple of my novels. Um, so anyway, so there you go. Um, let's, let's give a roll and you will get on top of all that. Uh, Wait, you will get more. a, Where's my little, I can't find it, but it's okay. You get the idea. I've got the, the coin or the, um, pat tag, pat tag for the deep dive pat tag, deep dive pat tag. All limited right. Run. Short, short yep. little, limited run. Oh, there's the, oh. there's the, there's the point favorite robber favorite right there. Stealer. The point favorite stealer. His, uh, his ears must've been burning. Yeah. I don't know if you caught that part. Um, which we all agreed was perfectly legitimate mm-hmm. uh, because of previously what we talked about. If so. he wasn't here earlier, Josh, we're going to rewind it because we got a great gif idea for you. We do. We have a great gif idea. He came up with it. So check that so, one out. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, again, last chance. I'm going to roll or push the button. So if you haven't done it yet, uh, you better do it within the next like five seconds. Cause I'm going to hit the button. Um, hashtag favorite to win a prize tonight. Let me share my screen and we'll get this rolling. So giveaway tool. I'm going to share it. And there it is. And here we go. Fingers crossed. Everybody that's ready. Big whammies, big whammies. Uh, no whammies. I should say no whammies, no whammies, yeah, big whammies. <laughs> Big whammies, big whammies for somebody. Big bucks, no whammies. Here we go. Draw. And there's everybody going by. They're spinning. They're spinning. It's spinning. It's spinning. And Peachy 1276. So, Lori, you're a winner. And you can send me an email. Yeah, big whammies. Sorry, no. Big there was big baby still money. Yeah, that was happy hodag. Yeah, kind of. It's kind of how it turned out for some. Uh, but um, way to go, Peachy. Um, yeah, you know the drill. Send us an email: geocache talk at gmail dot com, and I will send you uh, one of the prizes. So again, thank you. Um, thanks everybody for tonight. Uh, Thanks, Jesse. That was a fun discussion. Always. I think we could have talked about that for five more hours easy. Oh, my gosh. We could. Um, so another real quick update, I guess, on that. We'll let it go after that. As you're talking about what we could talk about for, for hours, we could talk about some things for hopefully eight hours because okay. mark your calendars. December 2nd is going to be Podcast of Hope's Podcast to Hope, and this year, Jesse, I can't, you're not going to believe this. This will be our eighth year. Eighth year, uh, wow. Eight years. Eight years. We've. This will be our eighth year. Uh, I met today with um, uh, one of the um, the uppity, the uppity, no, the upper management. Folk. Yeah, not uppity. That's that's not right. Not uppity. She's not uppity. <laughs> she's upper management. Yeah. She's she. She's uh, one of the big wigs. Anyway, I met with her and she is working with us to get more prizes. Uh, 
you know, nothing promised, but we're going to work together to try to get um, another cool St. Jude. Uh, we had, um, you know, a, a representative last year on the show, which was really cool. So she's going to help us. She's going to work on that. So big thanks to her. Big thanks to St. Jude. Another big year. I already have a couple guests um, set, and I'm really excited about them, but we can't. I can't share any of that yet. That's plenty of time for all that information to come out. Plenty of time, but mark your calendars. Yeah, December mark 2nd. Your calendars now. Mark your calendars J- July 15th because Cash Fest Memphis will be going on and it's going to be awesome. The whole week is going to be great. We've got so much planned. We have some uh, events that are in the queue waiting to be published. So once they publish, uh, we'll add them to the mega. But uh, Please just you know think about coming to be with us, and that is all of that. And we will now say Sunday night for yep. another another episode. And then if you're not there, we'll see you back here Thursday for another deep dive. So mm-hmm. good night, everybody. Let me push the right buttons. <laughs> Gary pushes the right buttons. Gary does push the right buttons, and here it goes. Thank you.